Hey everybody, it's me, Elliot, aka Calvin Minson. And now I have a video for you. So, the Spider-Man Far From Home movie review. Now, before we get full into the review, I wanted us... This video will contain massive spoilers for, for Marvel's Spider-Man Far From Home. So... I wanted to say that before we get into the video. Now, if we want to get in full into detail, I can't I don't have video of of the of the actual movie, so I just have to show images. So, let's begin. So, the movie begins very with an opening, a normal Marvel opening, very cool, and it begins with a, a creature elementals, but, okay, I'll just sum up the movie. I mostly want to talk about the post credit scene and my theories for it. So anyway, it's about a, the, a guy, Mysterio, who says he's a good guy, but he's actually a bad guy. Yada, yada, yada. He makes drones to make the, these creatures look real. And then he, um, then at the, so Spider-Man defeats him, and at the end of the video, at the end of the movie, there's a mid credit scene and post credit scene. I'll talk about the mid credit scene first. So, in the mid credit scene, it has... Spider-Man swinging Mary Jane, I mean, swinging MJ around. And, uh, and when he, they all get off, that's when the, the Daily Bugle comes out and J. Jonah Jameson is on there, on the screen. That is a big surprise because in the Sony Marvel contract they were only supposed to have mary jane i mean only aunt may and spider-man be in the marvel studios cinematic universe so now i'm really surprised because that means it could we could have more characters in even more characters in the spider-man characters in the marvel cinematic universe but anyway mysterio blames all the so all the bad stuff that happened in Venice, I think? No, uh, Paris? All that stuff on Spider-Man with a carefully edited video. And then he reveals to the world that Spider-Man's real name is Peter Parker. And then it ends just like Spider-Man Homecoming ended. Cutting off with an F-bomb. Where Spider-Man goes, what the... And then it cuts to black. And then at the other post credit scene, it ties in with Captain Marvel. I'm so surprised that Nick Fury has been a scroll. Talos, the scroll. And Nick Fury has just been on a vacation for the entire time. That's such a big surprise. So anyway, that's my big sum up of... Spider-Man Far From Home. Now the theories. I'm thinking maybe if we could actually see more characters from Captain Marvel, like maybe even Goose the Cat in the future, since we already saw Captain Marvel and Talos. We could see more characters. Maybe even Yon Rog. And maybe even Ronan survived. But anyway... That could mean that other characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe are scrolls now. I mean, we got Nick Fury as a scroll, so that's big. And, I mean, I can't, I know they're going to make a third Spider-Man movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They can't just leave up with Spider-Man's secret identity being revealed to the world. And uh, J. Jonah Jameson being a part of it. It's just, I know they have to make a third one. 
those are my theories. Maybe we're going to have maybe even a third and fourth. Something that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy couldn't have. So, those are my review, sum up, and theories of Spider-Man Far From Home. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh wait, I saw Avengers Endgame three times!